Justin shares his thoughts on love. Jennifer on why the word fat should be illegal. And why Selena tells Demi her deepest, darkest secrets. All this and more on today's Rundown. Happy Tuesday, Cleverettes! Welcome back to DHR. We have an action-packed show for you guys today. I'm Deidre Behar with my friend, Miss Katie Krause. Yes, you guys believe 3D comes out Christmas Day. Justin Bieber released a new trailer this week, and in it, it's very emotional. I know you have all the details. Very. Yes, exactly like you just said, the new Belief 3D trailer is a roller coaster of emotions. We're gonna see Justin Bieber crying, we're gonna see him talking about being in love. You guys have to check it out. Take a look. Let's go! As long as you love. Have you been in love? Of course I've been in love. I think being in love is the most powerful thing. My favorite part is the intimate moments with the fans. It all started with the fans, so it's gotta end with the fans. Everybody's trying to tear them apart. It's back to being the underdog. As long as you love me. Sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands and fly. All right, so aside from, of course, showing Aww. love to the fans and talking about love, my other favorite part of this trailer is where he makes a joke about always being shirtless. Yeah, I think it's Scooter Braun that actually calls him yes. out on that. And I think it's funny, and I hope that he finally gives us some answers about why he's always taking off his clothes and when he's sagging in the club, his pants when yes. he's walking down the street I would like to know but I really love this side of Justin yes. when he's talking about how powerful love is do you think he was talking about SG Absolutely he's so young he's only 19 I feel like that's the only seriously substantial relationship that he's had and she's such a wonderful girl of course he was madly in love with her yeah. it was pretty obvious and I'm excited to see the movie and see what he has to say make sure you guys go check it out on Christmas day Yesterday we showed you guys a little clip of Miley Cyrus talking with Barbara Walters for her 10 Most Fascinating People of the Year special. Yep. And today, Jennifer Lawrence, a little clip from that interview hit the web and I just want to go ahead and applaud Jennifer Lawrence you go, and just commend her. She's calling out the media once again. She, she talks about why she hates the word fat mm -hmm. and why it should be illegal. Take a look. And the word fat, I just think it should be illegal to call somebody fat on, on TV. I mean, if we're regulating cigarettes and sex and cuss words because of the effect it has on our younger generation, why aren't we regulating things like calling people fat? I mean, go Jennifer. You go, Jayla. I just love everything that comes out of her mouth. I think yes, it's so honest too. and truthful and, and powerful and inspirational. Like, I feel like it brings out the best in society, whereas it's true, the media sometimes knocks people down and it's not very nice. It's Another nice. highlight, she says, I think the media needs to take responsibility for the effect it has on our younger generation, on these girls that are watching these television shows and picking up how to talk and how to be cool. I could not agree more and I'm so thankful that someone as influential as Jennifer Lawrence, you know, what little girl doesn't yeah. look up to her? She's basically saying it's not cool that if someone's like falling on the floor, you don't point and laugh. And if someone's wearing a dress that you don't like, you don't sit there and make fun of the exactly. girl and call it ugly because those words are so They're hurtful. Hurtful. And it's our job as the media to, I think, spread positivity. Of yes. course, we always are truthful with you guys. We tell you the truth. We do. But you in have a nice to be way, a respectful nice about way. It. We're not poking fun of people. No. All right, well, speaking of Jennifer Lawrence, her many times collaborator and co star Bradley Cooper kind of gave a very controversial interview to GQ magazine. He's on the January 2014 cover. Of and course, he, promoting American Hustle. Of course, great movie. <laughs> he was talking about how his darker days were really seriously dark, you guys. He told the magazine why he made the decision to go ahead and get clean and sober because I guess back in the day when he was on Alias, he wasn't getting as much screen time as he wanted and he was upset with who he was, so he would drink and do drugs to numb the pain. Even back in his wedding crashers day. Yeah, yeah. right on the cusp of that. And then when he finally was mature enough to make the decision that I need to just break free from all of this, he noticed, oh my gosh, I'm making a movie with Sandra Bullock all about Steve and I'm sober and she really likes me. Mm -hmm. And he realized it's okay to be myself. I don't need these superficial or artificial substances to like enhance me or make me a better Bradley because I'm just as cool sober as I would be any other way. Yeah. So I really applaud him for speaking out. I know it's a really tough topic. I don't think we've heard too much about this 
You know what we haven't, you know? but I think this is a new trend that we've especially seen this year. It's all these celebrities coming forward and talking about how uh, they were at their lowest of low and how they've come out on top. And I think the best highlight, the best quote from this is when he said, if I continued it, I was really going to sabotage my whole life. Incredible. I mean, it really it really speaks to the kind of person he is and what kind of character he has. He was able to make that clear and defined decision. Yeah. Do I want to be a successful A-list actor or do I want to just fall by the wayside and, and fall go victim? Party. Mm -hmm. No. Good choice, mm -hmm. Bradley. I am seriously loving all this Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato news that we've been hearing about yeah. lately. The ladies have been hanging out recently. It's like a love fest. Yes, they are very happy to talk about one another in interviews and how much they support one yes. another. And such was the case when Selena Gomez made her jingle ball stop in Boston. She told KISS 108 FM um, all about how much she loves Demi, how why she's the person who knows all of her deepest, darkest secrets, mm. but also knows all of her lightest moments. Take a look. There's not a single person on this planet that knows me like she does. Mm -hmm. You know, she she goes into my darkest place and she goes into my lightest, most incredible memories. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, there's nothing like her and there's nothing like us. So I will always cherish her. You know, she's uh, like one of my best friends. She's like my sister. Cute. The cutest. I just love seeing females supporting other females, no less. Selena and Demi, I mean, they're Barney days to now being on top of the world as pop stars. Yeah. I just gotta give them props. Also out and about together, of course, Rihanna and Eminem, they shot the video for The Monster and it is perfectly yeah. matched to the lyrics of the song. We see issues and themes of addiction and fame and chaos and, you know, substance abuse, just a lot of really crazy things that Eminem has been very open about in his mm -hmm. life. Um, some of the personal highlights that I saw was Eminem recreating a lot of the videos we grew up loving. Yeah. I'm talking uh, Lose Yourself, The Way I Am, uh, My Name Is, just kind of revisiting these old memories that he Even has. Even that performance that he did with Elton, Elton John. John. Yeah. yeah, just a lot of really cool stuff in the video, very artistic. I wouldn't expect anything less from mm. Mr. Marshall Mathers. Did you like it? I did, and I love that Rihanna sort of takes on the role as the therapist, and that the underlying <laughs> theme is that the song <laughs> is about Eminem's life, that he's he's this monster in his mind, but really he's himself. But now, today, he's the best version of, of himself, himself because he's defeated all of those demons, so. Can you Another, imagine Rihanna as a therapist? I can't, but <laughs> in the video, she looks Smoking. Um, beautiful, yes. amazing, and I mean, I would go see her, maybe. <laughs> to get some advice? Maybe. Maybe, why not? If you guys want to check out the whole video, we'll post the link below. Today's couples news is about a couple who actually is not a couple, despite lots and lots of rumors and speculation and even some photo ops. A lot. Kylie Jenner, you guys, is on the cover of the new Seventeen magazine prom edition, and she says that Jaden Smith is not her boyfriend. Who knew? I don't know if I believe it. I don't know either, but here's what she said. I don't have a boyfriend, but I do really want that boyfriend prom experience. But if I couldn't find a boyfriend, I would want to go with one of my best guy friends, like Jaden. I know I had fun with him. He makes me laugh, and he's a great dancer, too. I think he'd be an awesome prom date, but you guys, I thought we'd already established that they were dating. They're together. We see lots of pictures of them out and about. She says no. I guess they could just be total besties, but... I don't know, I think it's cool that she's uh, speaking out and openly about her love life because I want to know what her sister's doing. All right, you guys, for Tuesday Favorites, we thought we'd clue you in on what went on with the clever host secret Santa exchange. All of us exchanged gifts. And really quickly, I want to talk about what I made for everybody. So if you just go to like Michael's or like any sort of like candy store, you can buy the little candy melts. And if you just buy any mold, you just melt them, pour them in the mold and put them in the freezer. They were delicious. And this is gingerbread flavor. And it's just really cute. I bought a mold that says like treats, giving, wishes, sweet, happy. And if you just put it with a little cellophane bag and a ribbon, they make nice gifts for your friends. She also and made a cake ba batter flavored. That was so good, Thank and I you. ate a lot of them. Glad you liked them. So how weird is this? We all picked names out of a hat. There's yep. probably 20 of us, mm -hmm. I would say. And Deidre landed on me. Go figure. So weird. I didn't land on Deidre. I landed no. on Dana. Vivian had me. Yes, but she gave me all these fun lip glosses, every color under the rainbow. I mean, it starts with clear sparkly to light pink to red, and they're from Sephora. 
Very and affordable. Yes, we had a little price limit, and so these are definitely, definitely affordable. A good gift, a good stocking stuffer. Yes. Good for all your your close little friends. So you're I my you're my pink men. sunshine. So and there's Thanks. a lot of pinks in there. So. I loved. I love this. Glad you like so those are our Tuesday favorites, you guys. Yes. We have some questions for you. I first of all would love to know how much you love Demi and Selena. You can say infinity, you can say you don't really love them, you can say that you're obsessed with them and wish that you were their friend. I just want to know. I want to be their friend. You guys, I have a question too. What did you think of Justin Bieber crying in the new Believe trailer? Yeah. What do you think he's crying over? Post your thoughts and hypotheses below. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our channel and most importantly, keep getting your votes in for Cleverette, Star of the Week and Star of the Year. Ooh. Miley Cyrus, Jennifer Lawrence, Justin Bieber, I don't Demi even Lovato. know who will be the Vote. winner. Make sure you're voting Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, we check all those portals. So get at us and have a great day. I'm Deidre with my friend Katie. We'll see you next time.